So today I thought it was worth a quick chat about cash flow. So you may find that more of your customers are holding on to their cash for longer and that means that they're not giving it to you, which is what they ought to be doing because you've obviously delivered your lovely goods and services and invoiced in accordance with your agreement. Now, it's worth remembering that even if you don't have a provision in your contract around late payments, there is legislation that can help you. The Late Payment of Commercial Debts Interest Act and its successor EU regulations are there to give you rights to claim interest and debt collection charges for anything that's overdue. I would suggest in the first instance, have a look in your contract, see if you've actually got something in there about what you can do if payments are late. If you do, those are the rules that you need to stick to. If you don't, go to payontime.co.uk, which is a website set up to help you calculate how much interest and what late payment charges you might be entitled to invoice your client to get them to pay up. Now, if you're like a lot of my delegates on the training courses that I run, they say that's all very well, but there's no way we'd ever invoice anybody for interest. If they're not paying the invoice, why the heck are they gonna pay an invoice for interest on top of that. That's a good point, well made. So if you were thinking it, well done. But the fact is you can use it as a really nifty negotiating technique because a lot of accounts payable departments will do anything they can to avoid having an unaccompanied invoice that doesn't have a purchase order to set it off against that they are nonetheless legally obliged to pay. So what I'd suggest if you're nagging and you're chasing and your polite emails and your lovely phone calls haven't done the trick, drop an email to say, as you're aware, Mr. Customer, you're currently accruing interest on this debt at the rate of 8% above base rate, the glorious 8.1% you can charge your customers now for overdue invoices. Currently, that means you owe us 32 pounds and 26 pence and interest is accruing at a rate of three pound 21 a day or whatever it might be Um, if you pay our invoice in full by whatever date you pick maybe give them a week to organize their check run or whatever they're going to do then we'll waive our right to charge interest and debt collection fees otherwise we will be issuing you issuing you an invoice for the full amount It's often just that little nudge that they need to get them to actually settle the invoice. Remember, this is money they owe you. You're not asking for favours here. They're basically using you as interest-free credit. And they shouldn't be doing that because you too have got bills to pay and wages to settle. Hope that's useful. www.payontime.co.uk is the website where they'll do the maths for you. If you've got any questions about prompt payment and other late payment remedies, do pop them in the comments below or drop me an email through the contact form on the Devant website. Bye for now.